Hi everyone. This is our project Palace. Palace is a Python 3D audio API. It helps render 3D audio, decode audio files, and adding environmental effects. This is our working directory. The files in the root directory are for build and deployment configurations. We have directories for tests, source code, and examples. In the source code directory, we have valure.pxt, which is for interfacing with our parent project, Allure. Base, std, and util files are for helping functions. The palace.pix is for users Python interface. To see how our project work more intuitively, let's look at this class diagram. This is the class diagram for palace. Here we have device class. Device class is necessary for context to instantiate. Having a context, we can create source, decoder, etc. Source represents a virtual source which emits the audio. It has properties like positions, effects, pitch. Decoder is for decoding the audio files and playing it. Base effect is an interface, which reverb effect and chorus effect implement. These effects can be assigned to source. Now, we are going to show you some example usage of Palace. First, we need to install it from PyPI using pip. As we have Palace successfully installed, we can now drop into an interpreter and try it out. Uh, please do not judge my throw we caught the these are purely for demonstration purposes. Projects, uh, notably in uh, my game Brutal Maze, which will be showcased shortly after. generate multiple waveforms like the sine wave, uh, square wave, triangle wave and many more. This is thanks to the ability to derive the base decoder 
to create custom one that contained the waves that we wanted. We define a workflow based on GitHub for better peer review. That is, we don't push directly into master, but instead we create separate branches and make a pull request for every feature. This allows us to review our code and not having too many fixing commits in master. For example, this is a pull request from Hui made 7 days ago about writing tutorial. As you can see, we make some change, he opened a pull request, get some review, make some more change, get approved, and he squashed all commit into one and then merged it on the GitHub page. Take a look at GitHub page brand. This is oh there is only one commit from Hui, but it is significant. Beside, we also release our project right after we finish our features on PP. This allows us to have feedback from user, but sadly, we haven't received anything yet. When we encounter a problem, we also report to the parent project, Alu. This is where we can receive help, and in this showcase, we receive help from KCAP, the creator of Alu. We also try to open issues and discuss on how to fix the bug by ourselves. For CICD, we use Travis CI for Linux and Mac OS build and AppVayer for Windows build. The configurations for the CI services can be found in the root directory. In each configuration file, we configure the branches where the CI runs on. The environment variables, the build scripts, the install scripts, and the deployment scripts. These scripts enable the CI services to run tests, builds, and deployments automatically. As said previously, we develop each feature on a separate branch, then makes a pull or request to master. Whenever we make a pull or request, the CI will run test on the branch. The tests can be found in the tests directory. We have unit tests and functional tests. If the tests all passed, the CI will try to build. If the build failed like in this case, we cannot merge this branch to master. Otherwise, we are good to go. I'm going to conclude the report by briefly going through the documentations. The API reference are written in doctrine of each class and method in palace.pix. This doc string is mostly based on the Alloa's doc. For user documentation, we use Spins to generate HTML documentation page. The documentation page is mostly completed. There's only some needs to go, and we are going to have tutorial in progress. That is the report on our project, Palace. Thank you for watching. Take care and stay safe.